and that is a beast and a half of a cable that and that doesn't drop out it doesn't drop out at all so pretty good cable I'm pretty happy with it hello and welcome to another video yes I'm your host James I want to say thank you to those current people who are subscribed to me currently I'm on 123,000 views um, if you could possibly like comment and subscribe um, to this to, on this video and to my channel I've got plenty more reviews do some videos on um, the rental property I've just, I've just uh, I bought renovated and now it's fully rented out if you could have a look at those but anyway this is a new video of a follow-up video I suppose about the my sharp soundbar that, uh, that I bought about six to eight months ago it's had 20,000 views from the recording this video whenever you watch it probably got probably going to have a lot more it's one of my biggest videos um, I got suggested to re do a, a new video about it to say what to what to do with it how it's gone with it so this is what it is um, mint if you watch the, the, the other video you'll see exactly I've done a full walkthrough about it the test of it it's really good the only problem was the optical cable so if you watch the rest of this video you, I'll explain to you about, the, about the, the bad bits about it, the good bits about it. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Now, as you can see, well, ref that reflection of me, there's the cage of the rabbits. It's just a reflection, basically. Um, this, obviously, here is the power button. This is the source button. This is the Bluetooth button. So this basically you press this Bluetooth button. It helps you pair whatever device, music device you want to use. Now obviously you've got this up and down button there, which you will see on the cutaways, basically. Um, I has an a, um, HDMI cable there. Now to be honest, I don't really need the HDMI cable. There's no difference between, unless you've got a, 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 an amazing television, then it might work. But for this TV and for most people, for this soundbar, you don't really need the HDMI cable. You really only need the the big chunky um, optical cable and the power cable. Now, the optical cable, I did didn't. It doesn't come with one which is really kind of annoying because you would have thought a soundbar and it doesn't even come with it with a, the HDMI cable either it comes with a power cable and that is it so if you're going to buy one of these make sure you've either got an optical cable or buy one at the same time and don't go cheap that's all I can say on this basically because I thought oh an optical cable is just an optical cable it doesn't really matter it's cheap so whatever buy one for £2.50 or whatever It'd be sweet, and yes, it was okay to start with. Um, basically, I had I had an optical cable, so I stuck that in, and I bought another one for two pound fifty when the other one stopped stopped working. Plug that in; it was great. There was the odd light every 10, 20 seconds. There was an odd light boop, blip, like where the sound dropped out, and I was like, "Oh, it must be because it's a cheap piece of." piece of hardware you know sharp um, cheap it's only 50 quid for this soundbar I went away a girlfriend says to me it keeps dropping out it doesn't work anymore um, the sound's not working and I kept turning it off unplugging the ether, the um, optical cable and it's st and it, and it's, and it started working after that I was like cool it's done um, I even did a, a factory reset on this but yeah, I don't know how to that yet I had to google how to do it it was basically the optical cable so basically when I was over there I was like right let's see if it is the optical cable let's buy one for like six seven quid so I bought a nice chunky beast one a cheap one and when I saw it when I got back I was like oh my god and I asked the girlfriend how's it going now that we've got this should it perfect and, she's, and she just uses the sound bar for sound now rather than actual TV speakers why bother changing it because when you go into Amazon Prime or you go into Netflix or anything on YouTube you have to go and you find something and then you remember oh I want the soundbar and you've got to go out of the app to, 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 to change the source 
so you might as well just leave it on all the time. So when you think, oh, I want to watch a film, I want to watch a program, you don't have to bother flick, you know, thinking, oh God, I've got to change this. It's done already, set, and it's really good. It's basically like, um, like virtual surrounds, and it works for us. And for the size of the room we've got, which is basically about, what, six metres by about four metres room, six by four, give or take, metre a bit longer, a bit bigger room, it's perfect for us, the size we have. Um, it does the job. Um, when you want to listen to music, you've either got this or you've got the Alexa over there. We use this normally because it's just better. Um, it only comes with power cable. It works perfect. Um, it doesn't. The sound doesn't drop out anymore. So basically, don't buy cheap when it comes to the cables. I will show you now the um, the cable that's going from the back of the soundbar into the back of the TV. It's a beast. And when I saw it, I was like, Jesus, that's a beast. That's for seven quid. Wow. Because normally you go to like the big shops and you're talking like 20 quid for this. I got it on eBay. It arrived within two days. Here is the cable. I mean, look at that beast. This grey cable here is a new optical cable that plugs into down there. It's massive, isn't it? That is a big ass cable. It just plugs into into there like that. When I saw it, I was like, "That's seven quid, and that's what you get for twenty quid or whatever on um on a from Kirby's or PC World or wherever." And that is a beast and a half of a cable that, and that doesn't drop out. It doesn't drop out at all. So, pretty good cable. I'm pretty happy with it. Was it? Did it help you? So whether to buy cheap or buy um, or buy a bit more expensive. Um, if you haven't got loads of money, or you want to buy a present for your kid, or whatever, or you or your mum, and you don't want to do the don't spend too much money, or you don't have money to spend 150, 200, 300 quid to spend, buy this. It's a good device for a photo price, and it doesn't take too much room. If you want to go full on and you've got the money to do that. I'd go better, but for me, I mean, I do have the money to go to go a bit to go a bit better. But for now, I've got to buy. I'm buying a drone soon, which that's another review coming up soon because I've got my drone license. Um, I'm buying a new laptop to make these videos better, and I can I can send them out quicker because I've got a 2009 MacBook Pro. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, thanks very much for viewing me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you all soon. Hopefully. For a great another video. Uh, I hope it I hope it was helpful. See you soon. Bye bye.